I see more and more government entities supporting their startups to grow globally. Uh, at Jitex Future Stars, there are pavilions for uh, Japan, Korea, uh, South Africa, Lebanon, Bahrain, uh, Saudi Arabia. So it's very clear that uh, the governments are working on supporting the startups uh, to help them have access to uh, other markets, uh, to learn more, to, 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 to make sure that their pitches are better. Uh, will they approach that? There is a big Saudi delegation participating at Jitex uh, this year. It's a clear commitment of the kingdom for working with startups and empowering them uh, and, and creating more opportunities uh, for them. And um, there were different events taking place and there are different pavilions where, uh, uh, where the Saudi startups are. Uh, on the stage here, there were uh, different panels uh, talking about the plans of the kingdom and what's being done and what's being executed and, and what they're planning to do with different ecosystems throughout, uh, throughout the Arab world and, and globally. Uh, that's a sign of a, of a, of a powerful commitment by, by the Kingdom to uh, empower uh, all of the participants in the startup ecosystem. Within uh, uh, Jitex there are always smaller lounges uh, for uh, if people who want to take break or have small meetings, uh, find, uh, look for those. So uh, I found one today that was uh, fun and relaxing, so good music, uh, uh, they hired a the DJ, uh, 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 the, the food there, there was not a big queue for the food there. It wasn't very busy, so you could sit down, you can find a seat, you can charge your device, uh, catch up on some email or calls that you missed during the day. So those are venues for, uh, for recharging, whether yourself or your device. As a corporate or government entity involved in the startup ecosystem, uh, common things that uh, you might be able to find at the Jitex Future Stars is uh, looking for startups to join your program. There's a pavilion that has different startups, uh, but don't base your judgment on just walking around and reading the signs that the startups have, because unfortunately the startups, when they have their description, it's not, they don't write it clearly to, uh, to what they're about. So uh, this means, unfortunately for you, is that you need to spend more time trying to identify uh, what the startup does, who does it sell to, and, uh, and, and what's the, if, if they're a right match uh, for uh, what you're looking for. Another aspect for you as a corporate or government entity uh, involved with startups is uh, looking for others in the ecosystem to participate. What would help is when you're here, if you're open, when you see others that you know uh, in your circle, say, look, I'm looking for a founder who can do this, or I'm looking for an expert in this topic and so on. Who do you think I should meet while I'm here? Uh, and ideally, if you do that before, uh, you'd have at least uh, a couple of meetings set up beforehand. And what I found interesting about uh, uh, those startups, when you look at uh, Japan or Korea or the other startups, you get to see that they're solving local problems, problems that are relevant to them. So if you're interested to know what other startups are doing in other countries and what the problems they're solving, uh, such pavilions at these events definitely help. What would also help as well is usually events such as Jitex have their own app uh, where they have uh, people list their profiles if they're open to meeting with others and what they're looking for. So you can use that as a basis to uh, speak with the, uh, to reach out to some of the uh, people who are at the event. If you're a startup founder exhibiting at Jitex, please, please, please make sure that the description about your startup is clear to others. Uh, a very common mistake I see is um, it does not mean anything. You read it, you're like, okay, and then you pass on. Keep in mind, people are passing by your stand. Um, they give you a fraction of their attention. They just walk in they, and they look at it while they're passing by. Avoid using fancy terms such as AI powered blockchain, something or another uh, uh, cliche uh, uh, words that, uh, that, are, that don't mean much. Be very clear. What do you sell? Who do you sell to? Especially if you're looking to attract uh, investors or ecosystem partners, because they, they, they just walk around very briefly next to you. Plus, make sure that your stand is manned at all times, that there's somebody on the stand at all times. It's very common for me to pass by uh, uh, startup events, and I see stands that are empty. Because many people pass by, and if you're not there, it's just, you know, the, uh, uh, the moment passes and you have one you know, one, one person, can, one investor or one partner uh, in the ecosystem can make a big difference uh, for you. Plus, get enough business cards. Yes, people still use them. Yes, they're, print, yes, they're printed, they're old school, but people still use them. 
If there are people that you met who are, who are interesting, if you have the business card, write, write back to them during the event while you're at the conference saying, it was nice to meet you, Rami. Uh, 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 I enjoyed our discussion about so on and so forth. And as we discussed, we can do so on and so for you. As that will differentiate you from the hundreds of the other startups that uh, that, that person has met.